Hi, this is Melissa Neely Nicolini, and today I'm discussing labeling systems uh, for cruise line websites. And I have four here that I'm going to be evaluating Norwegian Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean International, Carnival, and Princess Cruises. So I'm evaluating these based on our book that we've been reading in class, Information Architecture for Web and Beyond by Louis Rosenfeld, Peter Morville, and Jorge Arango. So uh, according to their breakdown uh, of descriptions of labeling systems, uh, you can look at them for different uh, variations. One of those is style. Uh, and all the labels on these four websites are in present tense as far as style. Uh, so if you look here, you can see that learn and plan, uh, present tense, contact us, uh, con connect with us, find out more, enroll today. Uh, so all these are active tense and they are also present tense. Uh, plan your vacation, plan a cruise. Uh, all these are very similar search cruises. Uh, so and also uh, the ampersand is used instead of the word and throughout all four of these websites. Uh, there isn't anyone on the Norwegian cruise line but there is uh, for these three. So if you look here, uh, you can see uh, where they've used it. That's one that doesn't have it. So here, crown and anchor. And here, subscribe and save. So there's the, and learn and plan. So you've got that here. Okay, so going on for the presentation, uh, you can see that on all of these websites, uh, they are a sans serif typeface, so like an Arial uh, typeface or something similar to that. Uh, they have contrasting colors, so as you can see, they chose blue uh, because cruises are on the ocean. So all of these websites have a blue color theme to them. Uh, and some of them are using the contrasting color of orange, which in the color wheel scale, uh, that is uh, where you're going to see a lot of this orange coming in because it's a the contrasting color. Um, so uh, then you have uh, blue or black uh, dark lettering on a white background. So uh, here we have... Um, an example of this. So here's your blue lettering on a white background. Uh, and then we also have white on dark brown, dark, dark background. Uh, that's an example here where we have the email offers and deals. Uh, it's a white uh, lettering with the blue background. And then uh, we also have groupings on most of these web pages. Uh, they all have a similar box set. At, at some point in their website. So uh, here's these boxes here. Uh, if you look here, here's these boxes here, more boxes, uh, groupings of boxes, and also here. So uh, that seems to be something that all four of them have in common as far as the presentation. Uh, and of the labels themselves, uh, as I said, if you look, they have contrasting colors on all these with a light and dark or a um, dark to light, as was in the labels here. Okay, so uh, for your syntax, uh, they most of them are verb based, but they also have question based labels and they do have some noun based labels as well. But uh, here's an example of learn and plan and plan a cruise, discover cruising, already booked, the experience. So here's a noun based one. Uh, and then uh, we do have a question one, which was in the Princess Cruise Line, need assistance. Uh, so that was in the Princess Cruise Line, and that would be 
believe, is down here. So in this navi navigation, that's a label there. So uh, going on, the granularity uh, is good throughout. So uh, they are showing similar types of labels uh, and like sale to, sale from. So there isn't uh, a lot of difference in the way that they're worded and uh, learn about our cruises, get ready for your cruise specials. Uh, then the comprehensiveness. Uh, as you can see, there are many labels. Uh, and they all basically allow you to search or find a cruise and then find out about that cruise. Uh, and they just have different labels that they're doing that. Um, and then the audience, I think, is very consistent uh, with all four of these websites because they are all geared towards uh, people who might be going on the cruise. So they're customers. So all four of these websites as you can see it's really geared towards the customer in every way uh, in the verbiage of the labels uh, to the colors that they use are supposed to be compelling and uh, also how the uh, labels are phrased so I think what they're doing is showing bookings and uh, trying to show labels that might help people find a cruise on their cruise line. So uh, wrapping up, as far as the labels are concerned, uh, while they have uh, different names here, like uh, the Carnival Cruise Line especially is a little different. Theirs are shorter, as you can see. Uh, like the Norwegian Cruise Line, they like to use a longer phrasing uh, than some of the other ones. The same with Royal Caribbean. They have a few longer labels than the other ones where the Princess Cruise Line and the Carnival Cruise Line like to keep it a little shorter. So uh, as far as any opinion I have about the labeling, uh, I tend to like the Carnival Cruise Line because I think it's a little more direct and straightforward if you're looking to find uh, bookings uh, now, if you're looking to find out what's available, I think that uh, the Princess Cruise Line does a really good job. Uh, and I like that they have um, planning. I don't know that some of these double tags, I don't know if they're really necessary, uh, like subscribe and sales. I'm not sure what those two things have to do with each other or crown and anchor. So sometimes I'm a little leery of when there's two words because usually you don't need two words usually you just need one or a simple phrase or something so um, news and announcements I mean I guess it could be news and announcements uh, or something else <laughs> so uh, yeah my general opinion is uh, you know most of these are I think really good. I tend to like the shorter ones and because I find them more effective and less confusing. Uh, one, one thing I do want to point out is that um, a couple of these websites have like uh, here Norwegian has last minute deals but then uh, then they also have um, like world points rewards and specials so I don't know what the difference is between last minute deals and specials uh, or specials can't be last minute deals uh, and then over here it's the same thing we have um, uh, we have a uh, I'm sorry that's the wrong one <laughs> we have a uh, uh, play now learn more apply now so I don't know what those are supposed to mean um, those aren't the same as the uh, specials but they're similar and so I think sometimes some of these labels get a little too similar and then they become confusing so uh, but overall I think that their layout and design of all of these websites is uh, pretty good and you're able to find I think pretty quickly what you need so 
Okay, uh, that's it. Melissa Neely Nicolini, and this was my assignment on labeling systems.